Who do you think is the best Minecraft PvPer? Most people will instantly say Dream, Clown Pierce, or Mine Manor. Well, the person that I'm thinking of has beaten every single one of them in their own game modes. And this player challenged me to a fight. How the heck am I gonna win this? He goes by Dolly. He's an unrated European PvP juggernaut who holds the highest axe win streak of all time. Watch him in this match against another good PvPer, only a squid. In a few seconds, he's going to change his playstyle. Did you see it? After he got beaten the last round, he instantly formulated a playstyle to counter Squid's crits with precise strafes, and he ends up winning the match. This is not behavior often seen in PvPers. Under normal circumstances, a regular PvP sweat has a definite style and set of movements and combos that they repeat because it works. However, Dolly doesn't really have that. He molds his PvP to what his opponent is doing to counter them and exploit their weaknesses. Either way, about a week ago, he asked me if I wanted to duel him in his new video. What could go wrong? Everything could go wrong. Do you think I can beat the best of Minecraft PvP? -er? Just that message alone is enough to send someone of lesser willpower into cardiac arrest. Not only am I unprepared, but he gave me like five days until we dueled and wouldn't even tell me the kits that we were going to play with. So I don't even know what to train. Look, we have a lot stacked against us, and I'm just an average Minecraft player. But you know I'm not one to back down from a challenge. And after all, don't you remember my goal? If I'm going to kill everyone, why not start at the top? Now, what do I classify as killing? Well, to know that, let's look at a stereotypical Dolly fight video. They usually have two to five kits on PvP Legacy, and whoever wins the best out of those five rounds wins in that kit. Now, I could classify killing Dolly as beating him in one of the rounds because I'm technically killing him, even if I don't win other fights or even full kits. But to me, that seems a bit cowardly in this setting. So to me, killing Dolly would be beating him fully in one or two or hopefully all of these kits. I think I'm also gonna need to preface this. I am going to die. I am not going to win. I am not going to somehow magically beat Dolly through the power of friendship and the true meaning of Christmas. That just doesn't happen. But that doesn't mean that I won't win in a certain kit. And if you're confused as to why I'm so confident that I'm not going to win, well, let's look at this beast that we have to tackle. First, he's a lot smarter than he lets on. Other than everything that I have mentioned so far, he not only plays hard, but he plays smart. He is even playing smart before the match by not telling telling me what kit we are going to use, only giving me less than a week to prepare, and not telling me what day of the weekend we're actually going to fight. This is to make me as unprepared as possible, because before this, he has never used the same kits for every creator he duels, meaning I have no way to predict what he is going to fight me in. Like I said, Dolly plays smart and hard. He has years of combo training before this, and was a 1.8 main before he switched. 1.8 is a version that largely focuses on combos. I, on the other hand, have really only started PvP around a year ago. This means that he will have muscle memory and reflexes that I just can't train myself to learn in less than a week. Dolly is European, meaning that he has around 120 to 170 ping on PvP Legacy. This will cause a great amount of desync and lag, which Dolly uses to his benefit. He frequently performs P crits because people cannot affect him with knockback sufficiently to get him out of his hit range, and he can essentially hit people from farther away. I'll explain this later. The disadvantages? Everything! I don't have years of practice nor a stable connection to any servers. I play on Wi-Fi, meaning that my ping jumps around more than an Australian. I don't have a consistent way to practice. Look, I'll be honest, I'm not that good at PvP. I don't think I'm better than the average Minecraft player. But look, even after all of this, there's still a glimmer of a possibility that I can pull through and beat Dolly in some way. And if there's a glimmer, then I have a plan. To kill Dolly, I knew that I needed to analyze him first. If I understood his movements and tactics as they presented themselves, then I could be better equipped to combat them. Luckily for me, he had a whole host of videos showcasing his skill and PvP progression throughout the years. So I watched them, and I rewatched them, replaying key moments, like this one in the Mind Manor fight, where he does the signature P crit to S tag. I even watched his battles on other people's channels. I was about to memorize his sleeping schedule, then I realized that that might be on the border of stalking, and from those 
videos, I noted down all of his movements onto a note document and selected the most deadly and persistent tendencies he exhibited. For instance, the P crit to S tap that I mentioned. He uses this a lot, and it works because of his rather high ping. He's able to get in extra hits like this, and he's very skilled at jump resetting. He will also follow a left, right, left, right, left, left strafing pattern. And if he's within one block of your reach, he will go for a backstab or try to strafe behind you 95% of the time. He also tanks hits a lot for P crits and jump resetting. This is usually a bit abnormal because the common tendency of PvP players is to conserve as much of their health as possible, but Dolly tanks the damage and P crits. If you don't know what a P crit is, by the way, it's a form of critical hit where you tank a hit from your opponent, which will knock you slightly up into the air, and when you're falling down, you hit them, dealing 50% more damage. It's a great way to counter a lot of playstyles and very effective at high ping. And Dolly uses it a lot. It's like the only form of combat he knows. I mean, it works, especially in his case because his lag prevents him from taking immediate knockback, which is why he can get these insane hits. Basically, since he has high ping, the game doesn't register his character model moving forward as fast as he does, which means that he can hit people from slightly farther away. So what I planned to do was to crit spam him. I knew that I most likely couldn't outreach him because of our ping difference, but with well-placed crits, I could overwhelm him with sheer damage output. However, that was not my only plan of action. I also noticed that in many of his duels, his enemies forget to heal their armor, but he never does. Usually, he can get drops on otherwise superior players at their own game modes because they forgot to heal their armor in time. So I need to make it my highest priority to heal my armor and not let it break. And once I got this general information, I started training. But wait, Ivory! I'm roleplaying the children in the comments right now. How are you going to know what kits to train? You don't even know which ones he's going to use. Yeah? I decided to choose my main PvP mode, Axe, Sword, and UHC kits. If I could get good at one or two of these kits in the next week, then I could leverage it against Dolly. But even as urgent as the situation was, I knew that I needed to train smarter and not harder. I needed to train myself against Dolly's techniques. I noticed that in his videos, the enemy has a very hard time hitting him. This could be because of desync, but it's also most likely because he strafes a lot. This means that I need to work on my aim the most. And since in sword type kits, I knew that that I would be outreached by the lagging Swede, I was going to have to master jump resetting and P crits. And with this in mind, I did some training. And I actually won a lot of matches, but I wasn't winning good enough. I was getting tossed around and I had very little health left, so I needed to fix that. That's better. Getting combos like this is cool and all, but I know I won't be able to combo Dolly. He's far too superior in that area, so I need to focus more on critting. And so I trained vigorously for days. At this point, I only had a few days left and I needed to hustle with what little time I had left. And I need to start training Axe. But this is one of the kits that I'm most scared of because if you remember, Dolly has a 1200 win streak in this mode. No pressure, right? <laughs> The five days were up. I woke up and got myself ready. It was four hours until we would duel and I started to warm up. I decided that I was gonna start training in UHC that morning, but I was getting clapped. Almost every player was beating me. I didn't know if I was off that day or what, but it was not good. I couldn't fight like this against Dolly. So I stepped back and I rethought my approach. Dolly will get easily overwhelmed with utility and external factors as seen in his Mind Manor and Clown Pierce video. This is how I can beat him. I may not be able to beat him in raw mechanical skill, but if I can overwhelm him, I can kill him. How are you doing? Uh, good, how are you? It's all come down to this, and it's time to find out if all of my calculations have been a waste. That was actually really close. Oh my close. god, GG. <laughs> nice. Yeah, yeah. That never happened. Wow, no. <laughs> that's a combat. Try to click, but then afterwards I open up my inventory. <laughs> <Whoa. laughs> well.
am I? We're good. We're good. Kind of. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh, the crits. No, no. And these crits coming. <laughs> Good. Oh. My face hurts. Oh my god. I'm really. Hi. <laughs> I thought it was gonna caught you off guard. No, I. Oh my god! Um, Why is this working out so well for you? This isn't good. I knew that Dolly had desync, but I didn't know that it was this bad. He's better than I had imagined. At Sword, he is nearly untouchable. I don't think any amount of pre-planning could have prepared me for this. All I can try to do is maybe clutch up an axe. Oh my, I'm choking. Ivory, no! GG. That did not go to plan. I killed him once, but that's not what I want. I want to kill him in a kit. Come on, Ivory, just beat him in one kit. Oh my. Are you out? Yeah, you're not. Back. I have nine left. Oh god. Oh, okay. that's a good sign. <laughs> Ouch. Oh my. Jesus, I <laughs> ah, GG. It's over. I can't win. You saw how good his sword skills were. He's won too many rounds. And I've been training for so long. What did I think was gonna happen? Did I think that I could kill a person who literally killed Clown Pierce, Mind Manor, and Dream? Maybe I should just stop trying. This is a one-sided battle. I can't win against someone who literally can reach me farther due to ping. He has years more training than I do.
Should I just give up and quit? No. The difference between the best and everyone else is that the best don't stop trying. No matter how many times they get beat down, even if I'm laying in a pool of my own blood, I'll get back up and I'll smile because I'm ivory and I've got blood to spare. I still have a chance. There's one game mode left. It's UHC, the one I was training this morning, but I couldn't even win this morning. How am I gonna do this? If I can win in this game mode, I will have successfully killed him. It's a slim chance, but it's a chance nonetheless, and that's all I need.
Oh no! Chi Chi, were you out of gapples? Yeah. <laughs>